All right, greetings again, everybody. Continuing where we lost, where we, <clears throat> excuse me, where we left off at, we did the torso, and that's initially the. Sometimes it can be the hardest part to get because of how it comes out, you know, for the shoulder, from the chest area, and then around the neck. And speaking of the neck, I went ahead of went ahead and just added a cylinder for the neck and just pretty much shaped it up a little bit nothing really special but i figured you know it'll help save some time so now what we're going to do is we're going to uh continue on modeling out the upper body and we're going to use a cylinder uh eight excuse me throat's a little dry eight uh eight sides oops uh take off clipping has eight sides enabled and we're just going to map map out the bicep and just have it match a little bit over here now on some of these parts i'm going to time lapse it to save you some time because initially it is pretty much just the same thing scale rotate uh translate Add loop cuts here, and you know, in that same fashion. But I'm gonna do. I'm gonna finish off this part, and well, I guess the uh, the hands, and then for the rest, you know, I'll let you. I'll give you a heads up when I'm a time lapse it. But for the meantime, delete the faces if it created some. So it'd be that much easier when rigging. Since we don't gotta worry about that internal structure of it. Okay, so it kind of matches a bit. I'm just gonna modify this a little bit and just pull this back if I can select it. There we go. All right. So with that being said, we're finished with the bicep. Now we're gonna add another cylinder in, and we're gonna rotate that 90 degrees. And make sure you have your clipping turned off so there won't be any issues. And now we're gonna create the forearm. Now remember, these are just basic shapes. You can use any shape you want. You don't have to use the exact one that I'm using. I mean, you can use a cylinder, block, I mean, box, or, you know, whichever, whichever one comes to mind and whichever one that you're comfortable with using. All right, and you know, since she has this big cuff, I'm just approximating where that's going to be at. And now we can just delete those faces on both sides. And then what we're going to do is we're going to input a little elbow joint. Let's scale it down a bit more. Actually, we just move it back. And then we're going to use a ISO spear. Now the reason why I'm using the isosphere because it has decent triangles, but I mean, it's just a placeholder. It's just a placeholder for, you know, where you want your elbow to be. And then you gotta, you gotta move it over in your viewports to make sure that you're lining things up correctly. I was a bit off, but there we go. And let me just make this a tad bit bigger and just move it over but it doesn't really matter on this position because I mean once you rig it and you have the elbow bone in here you'll you'll see what I mean but we're just gonna finish off the uh, hand so we're gonna add a cube and we're just gonna again we're gonna approximate what it looks like now, now, I don't really like how how this is positioned, so we're just gonna have to just take some artistic liberties on how we're going to go about uh, moving this. So we can kind of you know imitate some of the little grooves in there for the finger, round it off a little bit. A little bit of a scale 
and a little loop cut in the center just for the thumb and then just pull these out now what we're going to do is we're going to add some cube we're going to add one cube but we're going to do a trick so that's going to save us some time as opposed to just um uh, just you know, keep on bringing cubes in. So we're gonna do a we're gonna do a very interesting time saver. Select that. Make sure it's the correct size. Um, let's move it down. All right, so that's pretty decent. And we're just gonna have our cursor right here, and we're gonna hit the period key to have it locked to this position. So with our square, we're gonna add two loop cuts. And then what we're gonna do here, we're gonna press V, which is gonna rip those vertices apart. All right, so now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna select everything with the L key, and we're gonna change our pivot point to individual origins. So now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna scale it, and it breaks it up that fast for us. So now we don't, Practically, you don't have to worry about, you know, going cube for cube to set it up. And now, after that, we're going to set it back to our pivot so we can just get it right in place. So we're going to, uh, come on, there you go, rotate. And then we're going to scale it. I mean, we're going to duplicate, move it in place, rotate it, uh, scale it upward a little bit. Well, actually... There we go. Scale it in the X axis. And then we're going to box select with the B key. Select all those. Shift D. And we're just going to repeat that same thing. And since we're using our pivot, it helps us uh, put it in place very fast. And of course, you don't have to be too crazy about you know the fingers of course because they're just an approximation of uh, what we're going for um what's happening here okay i had my proportional editing on okay so we're just going to scale that up so that we can well actually that's the pinky so we're just going to scale it down a little bit come on there we go and we're going to rotate and then just put it in place scale down a bit more so there we go all right so now the only thing we have left is the thumb so we're just gonna copy those shift D rotate that I'm only going to use two two uh, two cubes for this one and voila all right so we have our hand done so now that pretty much I mean it's a bit oh okay that, that, that's what we forgot um, Forgot to edit it, modify it in all views, as you can see. And then what we got to do is place it where it should be, right there. Now, of course, you can be fairly loose with this, but uh, I think I'm going to just uh, fix the. Oops fix the angle up like right there I don't really like how it's sticking up like that and then we have an open face close that but it'll have to do because it's just an approximation this is not our real deal model alright so now we've created the torso the full torso well half the torso because we don't have the stomach region but you know we have a good approximation of everything so far and on the next part will hopefully be the final part we're going to complete the head uh, the stomach the hips and the whole leg leading up to the feet and we have one bonus section that's going to be for rigging it if anyone's interested in that part so I hope y'all continue watching and leave some feedback. If you learned something, if you if you think I've missed something, please let me know and share with your friends. Hit the subscribe button and keep on watching. All right.
Peace.